I have a Whirlpool Commercial Heavy Duty Series washer. All lights are on but it will do nothing. Hello from Ja my name is Woody. I will be glad to assist you today. I have been servicing all major brands of appliances for 34 years, and have over 100,000 in-home repairs and over 60,000 phone and internet repairs under my belt. Note, there are five failure modes that can cause the washer to go out of service, indicated by all of the LEDs lit, but not flashing. When this occurs, the washer cannot be started until the condition that caused the failure is corrected and the fault code is cleared. Use the following steps to enter into fault code display mode, view the fault code, and clear logged fault codes. Perform the following sequence of movement using the cycle selector knob. Note, after reset, sequence A through E must be completed within 6 seconds, stopping just briefly between each click, resulting in the following sequence, left, right, right, left, right, as indicated below. Reset, place cycle selector knob pointer at 12 o'clock position and wait 3 to 4 seconds before proceeding. A. Rotate cycle selector knob counterclockwise one click. B. Rotate cycle selector knob clockwise one click. C. Rotate cycle selector knob clockwise one click. D. Rotate cycle selector knob counterclockwise one click. E. Rotate cycle selector knob clockwise one click. Successful activation of diagnostic test modes will be indicated by all status LEDs, except for lid locked, flashing on and off in half second intervals. Note. LED names may vary between makes and models. And count how many times the light blinks and which lights it is and let me know. I have no display on this model. That is why you need to run the diagnostics and tell me which lights are flashing and count the flashes and then reply back to me. That is what the manufacturers call the fault code display mode. I understand but when I turn clockwise, I can't turn clockwise a second time. Okay, all lights are flashing except lid locked. When you turn the knob one way let go of it and it returns on its own then you can turn it again. Okay, my fault code is all lights flashing except lid locked. The done light is on. Okay, when the done light is light. Then press the start button to enter fault code display mode. The status LEDs flash on and off. 1. To view last four fault codes, toggle cycle selector knob to view fault codes in the order of most recent to oldest. Refer to fault slash error code charts on pages 6 and AMP. 7. Note, a fault slash error code will be removed from memory if it does not reoccur after 10 consecutive wash cycles. Are these codes in my owner's manual? No they are not in the owner's manual, they are on the unit's technical data sheet that is inside the unit's console. Not to sound dumb but I know every appliance has a tech sheet but cannot find it in this unit anywhere. Have you opened up the console? It should be taped right in the console. Yes, I looked everywhere. That's what puzzled me because it usually tells you how to run the diagnostics. All of them leave the factory with it in the console, so it has to have been removed. You can contact Whirlpool for a replacement. When you call have your model and serial number, they will ask for it. Okay, thanks for your help. Jim I have one pulled up from their secure website but I'm not able to copy it nor send it out to you. Can you tell me what they mean? Sure, just give me which lights are blinking and how many times they are blinking. 
you should have one light blink a set number of times a pause a second light blink a set number of times and that will be the failure code. To tell us what the issue is. 1, 3, 4, 5 flash once then 5 once. It repeats that way. Okay so the 1, 3, 4, 5 are the lights or the amount of times? 1, 3, 4, 5 flash on then 5 and it repeats. Does that make sense? Okay still did not answer my question. When you say 1 I assume you mean sensing load and when you say 3 I assume you mean rinse and 4 is final spin and 5 is done is that correct? Correct. Okay then that is a fault code of F7E1 F7E1 and dash, basket speed sensor fault fault is displayed when the main control cannot determine speed of basket, or speed changes too quickly. Puts washer out of service. And bull, locked rotor and M dash, check that basket, impeller, and motor can rotate freely. And bull. Check harness connections from main control to motor and shifter. Does the inner basket turn by hand if you try to turn it? Yes. I think I have someone overloading it cause it happens every time this person uses it. I've been able to clear it before through dumb luck. I have two more if you don't mind. Okay, let's do this. Exiting the service diagnostic test modes press and hold the start button for 3 seconds at any time to exit diagnostic test modes. Washer will exit diagnostic test modes after 5 minutes of inactivity or unplugging the power cord. And then see if you can get the light to go off and see if you can start another load of wash. Let me know. I already did it that and it has been running but it just stopped again. Error code number 1 flashing. Okay there is no error code number 1, do you mean the same codes as before of F7E1? No the sensing load light is flashing. And only the sensor light is on and blinking? Does the unit have the water supply turned on to it? I had three error codes and wrote them down and started the washer and it quit again. Yes it ran almost a full cycle. Only the sensing load light was blinking on the last code. Okay you have no error code if just the sensing light is on and blinking that is a F0E0 in dash, no fault if it has done this again. I have to suspect you have an issue with the main electronic control board dot and it will have to be replaced. Here is a link to the part dot http colon slash www.repairclinic.com slash part detail slash control board slash w1057174 three slash three oh two two six three one question mark recade equals one o o o o seven oh and make sure the outlet the washer is plugged into is a three prong properly polarized and grounded outlet. That will damage the control board also. If you have any questions just reply back. That is what I expected to begin with thanks for all your help. No problem at all, always glad to assist you. And even after you rate me today if you have a question just reply back to me, I will still assist you, no extra charges. But rating me is the only way I get paid for my time. If you have a home improvement or appliance question and want to chat with an expert now visit justanswer.com slash YTHI.